Oh, okay, three, two. Yo, 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 what's up? We're here with Patty Poo. Hey, how's it going? How'd you do? I uh, made top 64 at Nats. Okay, okay. What you got for us? Uh, I was playing Manadium Kashtira. Um, yeah, it was, the deck was really good. Uh, I guess a few shout outs. Is shout out to everybody who came to Florida uh, to play test. Uh, it was really, that was really awesome getting to play Yu Gi Oh again for like, you know, an intense period. Um, you know, Gabe, Kamal, uh, Ruben, Taylor, Hani, uh, a bunch of people just flew in. Um, and it was, it was really cool. We all, all tested for about a week before the event. Um, you know, special shout out to, to Gabe uh, for helping me build the deck. We, we mostly built it together. Um, shout out to RMC and uh, big shout out to Chris too. Uh, he was in the world's playoff and uh, messed up his deck list um, and I, I was next in line so he just didn't play. Um, so I got a chance at that, but I lost in top four there, so missed by one. Uh, and then played the main event and got top 64. Okay. Uh, and then, yeah, I was playing Manadium Cash Tira. Okay, let's see it. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I played three Roomheart. Uh, this card's really good. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of like the main searcher, I guess, in, in the Manadium deck. Uh, but it can also do cool things like help you play around Imperm. Mm -hmm. um, I played two Visa Starfrost. I kind of wanted to play three, but at the same time, it's like the most searchable card in the deck. Uh, you don't necessarily want to draw it a ton going second. Mm -hmm. um, so I think it's probably a two of, and like kind of the definition of a two of. Um, similarly is the Scareclaw. Uh, right card. This card's really good, but uh, it only does one real thing. Mm -hmm. um, so I think it is also a two of. Uh, and then I played three Meek. Uh, Meek's really insane. Not being once per turn is really good. Mm -hmm. uh, I did not play Fearless. I think that card is a brick. I don't okay. think it really adds much to the deck. Shout outs to Fearless. Then I played um, some cash tier cards. I played three Fenrir. Okay. Uh, Fenrir is even better in this deck because it lets you get to the Scareclaw cash tier, oh. which can make the link one. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it's like combo in this deck. Okay. And then I played two Unicorn. Okay. Um, one Rise Heart. Oh, no. uh, one cool thing about Rise Heart is he is the stats that the Visa stuff cares about. He's fifteen twenty one. Okay. Uh, so you can like make the um, Visa fusion with him, or yeah. you can summon him out of your hand off Obsession. Okay. Uh, and so there's some like neat synergy with this card in general, um, but mostly just make a riser. Sure. Then I played three Ash. Mm -hmm. How'd that perform? Ash is like, uh, it's not my favorite card, but it's um, average against everything. How many branded players did you resolve it on? I played it against zero. Zero? Actually, no uh, branded? No branded. Interesting. Um, then I played three Book of Moon okay. as well. Books are really good. Uh, you draw first or second mm -hmm. and yep. It's really good. I like it. Played two prosperity. Um, I wanted to play three, but uh, I think this card's really good. I think it's hard to justify not playing this card in you know any deck that isn't like runic mm -hmm. or something like that. Um, but yeah, I think this card's really insane. It, it kind of bridges everything together. Okay. Um, it's also like one of the only cards in the game that can be both a going first and a going second card. Right. Um, then I played two of the Manadium Field Spell. Mm -hmm. Usually the level four is better to draw than this. Um, similarly, Obsession is better to draw than this. Okay. Um, but uh, this card's still really good. It lets you keep bringing the Meeks back from the grave. Mm -hmm. um, so you can do like a full combo. Then I played two of the cash tier field spell. Mm -hmm. I was playing three at first, but it felt a little bit repetitive, so I cut it down. Okay. One of the scareclaw field spell. Um, this card's really good, being able to pop star off. It, it's still a brick, so you mm -hmm. don't really want to play more than one. Um, but it's like the best brick you can ask for. Right. It, it searches cards. Uh, I played Rhoda. Rhoda. Mm -hmm. uh, Rhoda is like three good targets. It can get the Scareclaw, the Manadium Monster, or Rise Heart. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a lot of flexibility with Rhoda here. Similarly is Terraforming that can get, you know, three hey, different hey. field spells. Uh, I was trying to set a rotation. I didn't really like it. Um, it seemed like I conflicted. And then I played one Theosis and one Birth for mm -hmm. cash spells. I have a question. Yep. Uh, did you expect a bunch of Drolls? 
and uh, not that much, like a medium amount. Okay. And I think it was played like a medium amount. Medi uh, Droll's like really good versus deck though. Okay. If there might be like a way to do something different, like there wasn't Samurai mm -hmm. to be able to build a board that doesn't lose to Droll as much or start your turn in certain ways. Yeah. But for this tournament, I didn't think Droll was like as prevalent as it was like a month or two ago. Right. So I. I yeah, I mean it, it's really good. Droll, Droll's insane. Every time it resolves against this deck, it is really good. Um, and I wasn't doing anything particular to play around it. Uh, I played one arrival. This is definitely the worst card in the deck, but okay. it also lets you do the like full combo. Right. Um, so yeah, it's fine. Then uh, I played two obsessions. This is probably the best card in the deck, actually. Um, but I only play two because it really only does one thing. Like it doesn't. I'm not playing the other Manadium spell or anything. But being able to pop something, we can go like summon Fenrir, get the Scareclaw, pop the Fenrir, summon the Scareclaw, make the Link one, and then you mm -hmm. start going off like that. Yeah. Um, yeah, this card's really good. Being an extender from Grave, you can even like put it under a Rise Heart, and then when it goes to Grave, you can use its Graveyard effect again. Yeah. Um, you can also do that with visas too, so you can like start your turn with the next your next fusion. turn with a uh, vicious. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, by reattaching the visas um, or like the rise heart or something. Uh, then I played three imperms. How'd this perform? Uh, Imperm was solid, mm -hmm. no complaints. I like Imperm, Imperm more than Ash, I guess. Okay. I want to see people do well. I like Book more than both of them. Broken. Then, for the extra deck, I played one Rise Heart, mm -hmm. uh, one Big Eye, mm -hmm. Exoton. Uh, we kept wanting to love our rank four, and I was trying to build Busca, and I didn't really like it, so mm -hmm. landed on Exoton. Um, you could also do some cool things, like, um, I had one game where I went Summon Rise Heart, Special Meek out of my hand, mm -hmm. crash the Meek, Summon another one, make it a four, oh. make Exiton, blow up the field, and then... And then uh, you just zoop on top, right? Yeah, and I I crashed it into an Exceed, so then I could even Zeus after that. Gross. Um, and on that note, Zeus. Zeus. Um, these are all my, uh, Exceeds. Mm -hmm. Uh, originally we were trying Shangri-La, but Four. played against a bunch of cash, so yeah. I'm cutting it. Um, I don't think I really missed it, though. Uh, the big guy we were debating between that and the Dark Arm. Mm -hmm. Um, but I like bigger. Okay. Solid. And for Synchros, I played a Baron, mm -hmm. a Bestial, mm -hmm. um, Excel, Omega, and Ice Jade. Um, so the main combo that I was doing was summoning Omega, um, and then Death Batter, so you hit two cards out of their hand. Right. And then, uh, most hands you pretty much always end with Baron when you mm -hmm. do that, so you hit two cards out of their hand, and then have these two on the board, and then you're playing, like, normal interruptions. Mm -hmm. And then in some hands you could also add this to the board, and then in other hands you could also add this to the board, yeah. too. Um, just kind of depending on what you have. The Ice Jade was solid. Uh, it was kind of hard for Cash to out it. Um, it's kind of hard for a lot of decks to out, actually. And what does then, it do? So, <laughs> I'll read it. Uh, uh, quick effect, you can activate this card. Face up monsters you control cannot be destroyed by battle or banished uh, by your opponent's card effects this turn. Then if you activate this card in response to your opponent's card, or card or effect activation and your opponent has a card with that name on their field and in their graveyard you can banish those cards uh -huh. and then if a card uh is banished by your opponent's card effect while this card's in the graveyard you get special summon it okay broken yeah it doesn't beat evenly because it targets the player but i was about um, to ask yeah. yeah it doesn't do that but it does beat like all the cash cards okay um and so the only things that you can really do to it are like big eye and zeus so mm -hmm. like if you just like put up a way to stop those things then those are the only real ways that they have to out it yeah um, okay. I played two of the Link One. Yeah. Uh, the main reason I played two was just to play around cards like Imperm. If they like stop the first one and you have like either Visas or Obsession, mm -hmm. then you can just kind of play through it, make a second Link One, and search the field spell anyway. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, the second one is pretty much entirely to play around hand traps. I played one Cross Sheep. <laughs> Crash really good. Um, oh, the other thing on, about Ice Jade is at the end, uh, you often have like a Vicious and a Meek on the board, which is what you use to make him. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of times right there, you've already summoned Baron. So like, it makes sense as like a card to be able to go into next. So it just kind of like lines up 
with the blaze. Got it. Um, I play Donner. Donner's really good going second, um, especially with like the cash cards in your deck because you can like start playing Donner for something and then like special a unicorn after that. Um, yeah, Donner's really good. I liked it. And then I played two Vicious, so I gave one back. Okay. Uh, this card. This card's insane. It's not once per turn. It's a level eight fairy, right? Yeah, level Art. eight fairy pops on summon. Um, you can the main combo you do involves popping your own meek yeah. with it, and then uh, making the one that you get a level four, and then reviving another one off the cross sheep. And okay, that's how you can get to Baron uh, and just better. Got it. Okay. And then um, for the side deck, I played three Karkura. Mm -hmm. I've liked this card for a while now. Um, two nibs. I've disliked this card for a while now. You gotta side him. I don't know. I, 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 it's, I for, don't know. it's for the nib token. Deck. <laughs> it's there. Yeah. <laughs> I played cowboy. Then I played um, three. Three thrusts. thrusts. Yeah. I, I kind of wanted to play more um, thrusts and thrust targets. I think yeah. generally thrust is probably the best going second card. Um, but going first, it's obviously a lot weaker than something like Talents. Right. And generally, I don't like siding going first cards very much, so I only sided one Talents mm -hmm. um, to kind of pair with the Thrust when I went second. And I would keep this in going first a lot of the time, but it was mostly just as a target for Thrust. I see. Um, then I played two Dark Ruler. Those are good. Yeah, sometimes Dark Ruler doesn't work as well as a one of because you want to like actually negate the thing mm -hmm. as opposed to like, you know, having this get negated with Carrot or something like that. So sometimes it ends up being better to actually be the card. Right. Um, and I think Dark Ruler was the case of that. But then I also played Harpies, um, mm -hmm. another really good thrust target. I played one Evenly okay. as well. For um, thrust. I still don't like Evenly and I probably wouldn't play this card again. I say this every event. Okay. <laughs> it's still in my deck, so you may be wrong. It has to be good. And then I played one of the Minadium Counter Trap. Um, I probably would not play this card again, and I said it at every time I went first. But uh -huh. in general, I think you'd rather just like combo um, mm -hmm. than search the counter trap. And you know, you really have to have a lot to do like all of the things, I For think. For sure, yeah. And if you're like choosing between comboing or searching the counter trap, I think you'd rather just combo. Mm -hmm. And then if you Omega and take two cards out of their hand, even if they Dark Ruler you there, it's like they only have three cards left in their hand. This mm -hmm. deck has like really good follow up anyway. Right. Um, so if they use the last three cards to like crack the board, then I don't think it matters that much. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that is the deck. Okay. Any last words? Um, Medium's really cool. Uh, I saw that the new Synchro, I thought it actually came out like months from now, so it comes out in like two weeks, so uh -huh. that's really cool. Um, yeah, looking forward to that, and I think this deck is really good. Um, to be honest, I wouldn't have played it if I didn't think it was the best deck. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes I'm wrong, but uh, yeah, I really liked it, and I think it will only get better. All right, sounds good. Thank you. See ya.